어? 안녕하세요. 만나서 히거시고 비서 17. 예. 워! 저 레이디즈 앤 젠틀맨 라스 비서 워슨 디 위 겟 투 시 리카 모 서프링 프롬 허. 웰, 메인리 비카즈 유 노우 위 리카 하즈넨 리디 셋 아이 러브 히나자와. 아이 돈 원투 리브 디스 플레이스 애니모. 유 노우 올 시 하드 투 두 이즈 투 세이 댓. 버 유 겐 세이 비카즈 오브 허 히스토리 웨 히나자와 포더 패스 헌드 이어스 시 비인 서프링. 시 하드 투 파인 웨이 투 오버컴 디스 커스 앤더 유 노우 사토코 스 베지키 더 파이널 스트로 포더 허 비카즈 유 노우 사토코 리트리 디캐피테이터 허 인 하프. And most importantly, the guts to oh my god, that scene is just so fucking disgusting, man. Well, you can say because of that, because I oh okay, that's enough. I've had it. I love Hinazawa. Let's end this shit already. So basically, she said oh, that everything went back to normal now. Everything is peaceful. She can finally die in peace. Hopefully, I guess. But well, it turns out that at the last part of the episode, we kind of saw that she may be up to something else. But we shall see, of course. So with that said, let's check out the final episode. Well, supposedly the final episode of Rika's arc for today's episode, shall we? Okay, we should and let's get started, shall we? Okay, let's just see how this episode go for this final. I think this is the final episode for the Rika arc. So let's just see whether we can end it in a very good note or in a very such a dark note. I would say like in every of the arcs, I guess. So with that said, here we go. Three, two, one, bam! Hold the kawa. Dun 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 dun. Funimation. Oh ho ho! Oh. Oh. Wait, hold on. What the hell is going on? Wait, what the fuck? What the hell? Oh. What? Oh, hold on. Wait. Wait. What the fuck is going on? No. No. Is this in the previous arc or is this? Oh my god. What the fuck is going on, man? So. What? Wait, hold, wait. Wait, what? Wait, hold on. Is that from the previous timeline or is this like in this art, in this episode today? Because last episode, Rika met, like came across her. Maybe that's why, that's her meeting with him, meet her with her and that's, you know, she's targeted them. Wow, what a start to the episode again. We get to see another uh, dark twist to the story after all. Oh my god. Really? Really? I thought this final episode could be like at least not too dark, but guess we're gonna have a dark ending after all. It's Shigurashi, everyone. It's gonna have a dark ending. It's guaranteed. Oh my god, wait. What? Oh my god, how did this episode go today? I have no idea. Let's just see how it goes. Oh my god, I am. I don't think I'm ready for this. What to come for this episode? I have a feeling that it's gonna not just be a dark plot twist, but there's gonna be like a, a big twist to it too. But we shall see. Oh my god. Was that like from the previous from the previous season or something? Or is that actually gonna happen this episode? Oh, I'm not sure, man. I need to just see for myself in the conversation later. E Gurashi go. Oh my god. So is this like the calm before the storm? This has to be the calm before the storm, right? I'm just hoping that the one we saw at the start of the episode is just like from previous seasons. Mm hmm. I'm sorry for what? Sorry for what? For what? Wait, did she remember something? Uh huh. That kind of you say. I just didn't get involved. Mm hmm. What, what is she on about? I don't understand what you're on about, to be honest, girl. I was going to what? Oh! Oh, she's going to expose the town by going to the storehouse or something? Like we saw from the previous arc from the Sonozaki one. Oh! 
Wait. Oh, oh. Hold on. So that was the early the start of the episode was a uh, flashback flashback from the previous timeline or arc or from previous season. Okay. She she's telling her about this, so that means she has the memories from it, so that's why she's trying to avoid it. Uh huh. I have no guys. I have no idea what the fuck is going on anymore, man. This is just we just out of context. She's, so she has some of the memories from the previous time, and that's why she's apologizing for killing her. Why give up on the plan? Yeah, I would love to know that too. Maybe she found out she's a devil after all. That's why she decided not to carry out it. Mm -hmm. I don't think you understand, even though I told you. Mm. Maybe because you know she has a change of heart after all. Maybe because you know of a certain curse of side effects to it. So that's why you want to get involved in it. Uh, the 20th. So this is the day after the festival, so either shit happens or you know everything to stay calm. Oh Wait, hold on, what the fuck is going on now? What fucking going on? Me. Oh my god, so he's not here to kidnap her, but to ensure her safety? Uh-huh, okay, okay. Quite interesting start to the episode, I guess. surrounded <laughs> wow that didn't work i guess whoever he is uh -huh. Uh -huh. um what the hell is going on Um, what the hell is going on, man? Huh. Oh, okay, you got reinforcements. Mm -hmm. Okay, at least he, he decides for like a friendly um stand down. He, he decides for a stand down. <laughs> yeah, something what happened. Mm -hmm. Renovation, huh? <laughs> Lol. Okay, seems like they're looking for his some sort of research. Okay, he has some do, do, top secret research. Mm -hmm. So this Tokyo branch. Okay, so these Tokyo people are like really looking around for some crimes going on around town, I guess. Oh! Oh! Okay, so that's Satoshi. People have been telling me about Satoshi, that he played a role in the story, especially in the Sonizaki arc. And of course, the previous, the first arc too, but yeah. Yes, that's, that's Satoshi. Hmm? Hmm. Oh, okay. I'll put the end to the Sin Hinazawa syndrome. I mean, to do that though, you need to get rid of the god itself. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's a cane drug H173. Oh, okay. H173.
So is that the... Oh, yep, it's the drug. Or is something cause victims to develop... Yeah, oh my god. So they managed, managed to manufacture the syndrome into like actual like injection. What the fuck, man? What kind of research has it been doing? Holy shit. They actually manufactured it into like, an actual syringe. So do they extract it from the blood of those who are under the syndrome? Okay, interesting. So apparently we we get to see some uh, in, uh, like maybe zo zombification going on around town now. <laughs> We were able to escape in this hour under the mountain dog nose. Um, I mean, of course they did. Of course they did. <laughs> mm -hmm. And we were called a member of Elite. <laughs> Dude, they're not, man. They're troublesome, I'll say. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I mean, that's what he's here for, though. Investigate around the town. Remember, yes, he was a spy after all. So he's here to investigate and find the causality. <laughs> mm -hmm. And prevent crime going on. So he did his job, to be honest. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, what? They were, like, experimenting on Satoshi or something? Because he's, like, some kind of connection to the curse? Or curing from the Hinazawa syndrome? Okay, seems like we have a quite an interesting development going on. <laughs> and Tokyo's top brass are scrambling into handle into a faction conflict. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll go take her home. Okay. So is this the goodbye? So he's leaving now? Saying everything is fine now? And it is how our everything ends. So everything is settled. Mm -hmm. Okay. Seems like this is going to be a quite a happy end to this arc, I guess. Based on everything developed. Like the police dealt with it. The Tokyo. Mm. So basically, you guys said, okay, so everything is being resolved now. So hopefully everything, everything ends well. <laughs> I doubt so. I'm pretty sure there's a plot twist. I'm, I doubt there's a plot twist. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, hmm, I'm getting nervous here, guys. I'm really getting nervous. I have a gut feeling something shit gonna happen. Hmm. Someone else rolling the dice. Wait. The beginning, you kill one lives in the loop. Mm hmm. So you're telling me someone else is like playing around with the loop now? Playing around with the dice now, so because no longer in control. Mm-hmm. A perfect world. I don't think there's any such thing as a perfect world in Higurashi. <laughs> mm hmm so, so I'm still so from based on what she said is that there the cycle continues. The cycle continues, someone else is in control of the curse, the loop. Mm -hmm. I'm super happy right now. <laughs> I'm just hoping we at least have a peaceful end to this episode. Oh god. I don't know why I just jinxed that. 
In Hikarashi, you don't you never expect a good end. Hmm, seems very wholesome right now, though. Yeah, but that night of this. No matter how small, stay in our hearts forever. Oh boy, painful moments will always stay in our heart, man. Come on. I mean, that's true though. Happiness tends to, people tend to remember the painful things better than the happiness. And that's the sad fact though. Mm -hmm. Even the smallest painful thing can still remain in your memories. And Rika has a lot of painful memories and she will never ever forget about it. Mm -hmm. What should she want? Some peace. I'm happy I want you here right now. Exactly, she wants peace right now. She's been through enough seen through enough shit already. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, yeah, protect us. Okay. Protect us. In his own way. Oh, God. Don't ever leave us, Rika. Or else you'll be cursed again. Do not leave us again, Rika. Or else the curse will curse you again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, it seems like we're gonna have a maybe have a wholesome end though. They're playing some ridiculous club stuff again. <laughs> They're doing some club activities. God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> oh god what is this happiness man oh <laughs> what is this happiness man what is this happiness for for kg <laughs> jesus god what is going on why is this what is this happiness mm -hmm. oh god this is just so wholesome man <laughs> Good. I mean, are we just gonna have? Are we actually gonna have a club activity to end the uh, uh, arc or something? Wow, she won. Damn, she's she's good at gambling. <laughs> I mean, she she really does have a good poker face, by the way. Mm hmm. It's up to her. Oh my god, torture is up to her. Dude, don't bring up the T word, man. Don't bring up the T word, for God's sake. What's it? Mm -hmm. So, what the. Uh, what the thing that she wanted them to do? Go shopping with me. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Nippang! So that's it? Just wanted to go shopping with her? Okay. What kind of penalty is that? That's just like your typical everyday stuff you do together, right? So... That's not punish. That's not penalty. What the hell? I'm pretty sure she writes something very interesting for Keiji to do for her. <laughs> I don't know, get her something very deep, deep down in the mountain or something. Oh yeah, you don't say. The happiness that I finally able to appreciate for a long time. <laughs> so as I want to help. Help with what? Birthday party? 
Oh. 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 Oh, nice. Birthday party. Okay. Wow. Oh, Tanjobi. Oh, man. They go. Mm hmm. So, they asked to buy presents for her. Yep, knew it. Knew it. I knew it. Get present. Tanjobi, present the only Gashimas. Mina wa yashashi desu ne. Mm -hmm. Nini. Oh yeah, she still miss her brother, Nini. Oh yeah, it was also mentioned in her arc too. Satoshi. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Touching. Yeah. I mean, who won't be? Everyone will be happy with a, you know, a celebrate birthday together. Cookbook, okay. Encyclopedia. <laughs> Lol. What the hell, man? Is that some sort of gift she wants? Mm -hmm. What the hell? Humpty Dumpty? <laughs> Lol. Humpty Dumpty? Mm-hmm. Hey. Low. Okay. Oh, that's so nice of her to give her the cute coupon for her restaurant. Now for her, I think the Xi uh, Xion restaurant. Mm -hmm. Dude, what is this wholesome end then? Yeah, at least we have something nice. What? What's the present? What's the present? Huh? Oh! Oh! Oh, that triggered her. What happened? Wait, what? The box? What's going on? Oh, no. Oh, sucker punch. Oh, oh, memories from the past. Memories from the past. She has the memory. For the, oh my God, are you telling me? No, she has the memories from the past. Isn't she? From the different timeline, I guess. Oh, teddy bear. Not anymore. When else is rolling the dice? Oh no! No! Oh! No! No! How did you know? Oh! I died! What? What? God! Why am I not surprised? Why am I not surprised? Satoko is now the new loop goer. What's the next episode's title? Village Destroying Chapter Part 1. So we're on to a new arc. Satoko Washi Hen. So, aka Satoko's arc. So basically now we get to see Satoko being, well, basically what Rika's been going through for the past uh, few, all these episodes, all, you know, her shit 100 years of loop. She's now in control of the loop. She's now the new one. So basically Rika has no longer has this power anymore. She has this power now. Oh my god, wow. I mean, I can't, it can't make sense though. She can't react to the box. So she has the memories from the, the, the previous timeline. The or previous loop. So when, when that happens, say, like, hmm, no way. That can't be right. 
Vika did mention that there's a new person in charge around the whole loop thing now. And wow. Surprise, surprise. Satoko is the new one. Why, Satoko? Why? Why her? Why her? What? What are the what what other how the record um what are the job requirements to become this those with Rika something or at least close to Oyashiro oh my god and she point out gun at them too so basically she tell everyone to die or maybe she just you know threatened them or something say so keep quiet about this either these two ways but next episode we're gonna see her adventure now. Satoko's adventure in, as being the new controller of the loop or something, or basically the, what we have been going through. Whatever you call, what sort of like job role you call that? Oyashiro puppet or something? So, Oyashiro oh yeah, curse. Dude, she react to it. The moment I saw this, I was like, no way. This can't be, right? This fucking can't be. So, Rika basically, you no, know, she accepted the fact that she needs to stay in Hinazawa. She cannot just leave. But basically, she lost the power now. She She's free from it, but. You know, they need, there needs to be a successor after all. There needs to be a successor. So, and guess what? Tatako is the one. Mm -hmm. She finally... I mean, at least Rika's escaped from this strategy now. This sort of like loop. These painful memories. And of course, this scene here though. Syringe. Nest Hinazawa serum thing. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is going to be some sort of zombie fight situation where they inject this to many people and spread it or something. And apparently Satoshi is still alive, but he's been like out in a very confined research location. Maybe, you know, they're trying to look him up or something or maybe use him to stop Satoko next in the next arc, I guess. Because Satoshi could play a big role. I have a feeling that Satoshi has a role, a big role to play in the next arc. So I'll be very much looking forward to that. So, oh my god, seriously man, the suffering continues and I thought they were going to have a wholesome end, but guess not. This is Higurashi everyone, there is no such thing as a wholesome end. So, oh god, I don't think I'm ready for what's to come for the next arc indeed. So with that said, I hope you guys enjoy my reaction today, smash the bunch of directions, and run 10, see you guys then.